Hi, this is Piero, Technical Director of Segpoint. I'm here with the new firmware 49 of the Penetrator. In this firmware, we have added a new interesting function, the Autonomous Sonar Robot. This function allows to automatically detect new devices on the LAN and start a vulnerability scan on them. This function is available in menu Autonomous Sonar Robot. Configuring the Autonomous Sonar Robot is really simple. In the Setup page, you can select the scan template, the frequency and you can activate the Sonar Robot. The robot will then work in the background and will automatically scan the LAN, detect new devices and automatically perform a vulnerability scan on them. Now let's see the meaning of these parameters. The template holds the information the robot needs to scan new devices, the target range, which will typically be your local area network, the scan profile, and all the other advanced parameters that are typically configured in a scan. It also contains the list of devices that are not to be scanned. The frequency defines how often the robot will wake up and perform a new research for active devices in the range of targets specified in the scan template. Then through this button you can activate the robot. When the robot is active, it will scan the range of targets in the scan template and as soon as a new target has been found and no other scans have been performed in advance by the robot on the same target, it will launch a new scan using the chosen template. It is not possible to activate the autonomous sonar robot without associating a scan template, so it is clear that a scan template must have been created in advance. Now the robot is active and it will scan my LAN every 5 minutes. Now let's see what the starting point is. The first time you activate this function there might be devices that you don't want to be scanned. In this case you can set a starting point. To set a starting point the autonomous sonar robot must not be active. When you click on this button the penetrator will take a snapshot of your LAN and will automatically exclude active devices from the scan template. When the search is complete, you will see that all devices that have been found active on your LAN have been excluded from the scan template. Now, if I activate the autonomous sonar robot, the robot will scan devices on my LAN with the exception of the devices that have been automatically excluded. The list of targets scanned by the autonomous sonar robot can be seen in tab scanned targets. Here we can see the robot in action. When scans started by the autonomous sonar robot are finished, that can be easily identified through this icon. Another function we added in this firmware is the firewall. It is available in menu firewall and allow to easily block access to local ports or block ICMP traffic, which is ping. Please note that only incoming traffic will be affected whilst outgoing traffic will remain unrestricted. To block incoming traffic to a port, select type port and the port number. The new firewall rule is immediately active. To block ping probes to your penetrator, select ICMP, click add and it's done. Another feature of the Penetrator Firewall is the ability to block 640 million IP addresses that have been proven to be source of spam or evil attacks. To activate this block, click on this tab, then enable this function and click OK. 
on the bottom side of the page you can see the whole list of IP addresses that have been blocked through this function. The last thing I would like to mention in this video is the new languages we have made available for the reports. To select the language, click on menu System, Report Branding and select the language of your choice. In this firmware we have added French and Georgian. Remember that when you select a new language, all the reports that are available on the home page must be recreated. To recreate a report, click on Make New Reports. If you want to know the whole list of features of this firmware, you can download the release notes document from our website. It's all for now. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.